I am Juan Mertkulek. I am originally from Kurdistan, which officially doesn't exist. So I have to say that I was born in a village in the southeastern part of Turkey. I've been writing in my native language Kurdish since 2004. I mainly write novels, four of them have been published so far, but also I have a book of short stories and a book of folkloric Kurdish verse, kind of poetry. Uh, I also translate books from Spanish, English and Turkish. I have always believed that we should be able to read world literature in our own language so that we can contribute to world literature in return. As a result of that, I have translated works by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Mario Vargas Llosa, Juan Rulfo, Orhan Pamuk, James Joyce, William Faulkner, and J.M. Katsia. My first book was published in 2006. So I have been writing and producing in Kurdish uh, for 10 years. I have uh, published seven books and I have translated seven books so far. In 1990, when my mother moved our house from a village to a town, I, for the first time in my life, came across the Turkish language. Shortly after that removal, I was enrolled in a state school and I began to study Turkish. I learned to write and read in Turkish. Fourteen years later, when I made up my mind and decided to write in Kurdish, I discovered that I couldn't even think properly in my mother language. In that period, I have even written love poems in Turkish. I studied in Turkish. I read every other I know and I like in Turkish. So uh, to writing in Kurdish was really challenging to me. I remember that one of my friends at that time told me, uh, hey, come on, you aren't better at writing in Turkish, in Kurdish, and Kurdish people aren't better at reading in Kurdish. So what is the point of writing in Kurdish? But it was a brilliant idea at that time to me. I was seduced by it. It was like a tempting, heroic, artistic, unique, special uh, idea to me, and I couldn't resist it. I tried to recollect everything I could remember in Kurdish, and I found out that I was about to forget anything that I knew before my mother um, removed our home from village to the city. So my mother language has distanced itself away from the outside world. Turkish language has pervaded my memory. It has blacked out the Kurdish. So I had to dig out these dead words, these forgotten words for myself. It was kind of uh, discovering yourself. It was a, a journey that, uh, that really dri has driven me into, into recreating the world. So I written every single word which I thought was I was about to forget and at risk of being lost. At that time, I didn't even know about the Kurdish alphabet. I was just reading in uh, alphabet similar to Turkish script. But then I found out that uh, there are some Kurdish books which were published before. And while reading, I remembered my past better. Uh, language of my creation uh, has something in common with the imagination, with the fiction, uh, in the sense that both of them are really recreation of the world and reality. So uh, searching for my language, uh, in a sense, brought me back to past, to, to, to see the, the society I was born into, the, uh, to, to discover that reality again and reconstruct it. So uh, work of imagination and search for language uh, goes hand in hand in my literary uh, career. When I discovered that there are certainly some other people who wrote in Kurdish in different eras and parts of my country div divided between four other uh, uh, states, I found out that uh, nearly most of them has written to, to prove and promote the Kurdish identity and raise an awareness about Kurdish nationalism. And it was a kind of struggle in writing. 
because in 20th century, Kurdish people lost a country after the First World War, and their country was divided between four countries, four states, which uh, all of them also oppressed their language for a bit. Uh, so um, most of the Kurdish writers were, uh, in a sense, um, politicians. They had uh, engaged in politics, and they had a cause. When they failed, they returned to cultural literary works, but in they kept, they continued their struggle uh, through literature, through poetry, stories, and this kind of work. And in the 21st century, we are about to lose this time our language because with modernization, with language ban, with no school, schooling in Kurdish language, people are exposed to mass media, education uh, in uh, Turkish language and they, they forgot their uh, language. So the, most of the contemporary Kurdish writers in the 21st century, they use writing as a tool to preserve their language while in 20th century they, they used it as a tool to, to preserve their identity and their country. This time they, they use writing as a tool to save the words from being lost. I think also that my writing career helps to the promotion and preservation of Kurdish language. I am not regretful that my writing uh, aims to strengthen the position and the legitim and dissemination of Kurdish language, but these are not the main purposes for me in writing. I have my uh, purposes of writing are quite individual and personal. I write sometimes because of my loneliness, sometimes because of my character being a more introvert person than an extrovert, because sometimes I think there is a world going on in my mind, a greater and more amazing world in my mind than the outside world I witness and I see. And I discovered at certain points that I speak in my innermost more than I could speak out. So writing is the best tool to, to channel these inner words and inner voices outside. And I get pleasure in writing. I like the, I like being detached when I am absorbed in writing and creating reality again. Of course, writing uh, is sometimes a very arduous and tiring, exhaustive work, and uh, sometimes you cannot f find the motivation enough, but it is triggered by a very joyful, entertaining activity, which is reading. So when, even when I feel away from it, reading uh, helps me and uh, I am happy that two beautiful activities are so closely associated with each other. Uh, Alexander Pushkin says, I write for pleasure, but I publish for money. I write for pleasure, I write for myself, but uh, I publish for a non-existent reader in Kurdish because it's very scarce. So uh, I have to teach to make a livelihood and for money. So I am a teacher when I'm not a writer, but I think uh, I am someone who desires and dreams to be a writer when I am not a writer. But if I was to choose another occupation, I could be a sportsman, maybe a football player, or an artist, a film director, a musician, but uh, I, I still struggle for only one ambition, one passion of my life. Hey, Jana, I have a question for you. What are you doing? 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 What are you لقیما وی هیچ پی نداد که یک دید شتن که وی دنویسی بخینه بری که وی او قدان دبن. هچی بر همین که بمره بون جرا داوی که هفته دیبون هیچ دنویسی. نخواهم شاش نکر بو. 
فرزنده روز نبیس که خوشی مینا بر همه که کروش که بین وشاندن، اوج آل کسی خریب جی بین خاندن سیوران دبون، اول پی خواهش دبون. حتی دست وردان هند شتان کرد بو مینا مرافد که بو خیال و هیمان ناشوبه. اند زیاری کرد بو سرچراکا جانا خو دا دا کوی نزی که بر همه که فرند نب که. مینا کل جانا خو بو خوی کرد بو داویت خر زاب بر همه کش قلم مایی در کتی. بلکه جی افقدرا هر نویسر کی آشوبه بو. نزارم چه واقعه لام کریه لی بری خو گهارت. دسته ول بر چناوی پلکه پیدان کرد. لیت باور نکنه، هم هاتو بنگه و هر وقت سوناوی جای. یا که جمهور اره گلتن بو، لوس بو کمد نه اینکه فلان کس را دید. اویدی اوکس بو کمد نجرا بوریه لجرو پلین دفتر آن ناست کرد. او مینا حال بسته که موسیقی تی خواندن کم را ویل سر کاغذ تک دلی خود جی بخونه، وی موسیقی هر دبیر البرگ هم را ویل داده. من نما کار بو بی رونی افسونی آن آف دفتر آن دبیر بینم. من باور نکر لو مهاتم بشری کو تا کو یا راستی پیش دفتر نوی بربون جو شنگر یو را پوشما مبو هیوی خیال این فرزندی این پوچ نبونا باوری و جفاکاری و یا بازمان کردی نبویا باشترین جهش بوان دفتران سرگوی راوری بو اگر وجه دس یا کلو برینا که کو نای کوان سر مرو وان نبرا کیری چد هات افجار د دفتران د چوا هاتو بیا سالق دان جی د جوی روجه شونده هرتن وکا جنا کو نویسکار کی بربو مرنه بهاتان ناسین